Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Minish Cap Randomizer. I was thinking right before recording this, why we haven't got a sequel where Link gets a cap that makes him large and a giant, and he can just like stomp over everything. That'd be fun. What could they call it? Legend of Zelda, the largish cap. <laughs> Lactose loves it. <laughs> what if cows could laugh? Anyways, in the last episode, we took on pretty much the whole entire dungeon, the Palace of the Winds. We went through the whole entire thing. It was a long ass dungeon, but we made it through. And today, we're going to be finishing the dungeon by taking on the boss, which I think is named Olgera. It's really sick. It's giant floating stingray. Project Stingray time, baby. All right. So it has the big mommy, the big mommy stingray. And then there's like a little baby stingray right there. And we're gonna wanna get on these split pads, get into a, a trio, and then hit his eyes. Give him some impaired vision. Or I guess now that would be in trio vision, because there's three links, three eyeballs. I shouldn't overthink this, I shouldn't overthink this. <laughs> All right, we're on like the runaway, the runaway car right now. If we, if we don't get off of this, then we get attacked or something. I don't know. I just think you're supposed to fetch a ride. Dang it. Okay, I need to hit his eyeballs. Oh no, ow. Get out of here. Now I don't have a fairy or anything, so if I die, this is gonna be some bad news. Got, gotcha, gotcha. It's like whack-a-mole, but with an eyeball. <laughs> it's fun. You can find it in every single Dave and Busters. Oh no, did we just kill the baby? I feel terrible. At the same time, the baby deserved it, so. I know there's like some trick that I saw online to where you're able to hit these eyeballs if you do some sort of sword trick to where you don't need to split into three links. But I'm not good enough at the game to do that, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Maybe in future Minish Cap randomizer playthroughs. You gotta be careful because if any of these bubbles hit any of your three links, you are screwed and you have to restart. Not restart like the whole thing, but it just, you have to split yourself again. Dang, these eyeballs have a lot more life right now. Uh, let's be careful. Get out of town. So I'm gonna let you guys know something interesting real fast, is this episode of Minish Cap is a little bit different. You might have already noticed because we have some really high quality webcam footage. Well, it's not webcam, it's just face cam. Uh, but it's with a 4K mirrorless Sony camera now in comparison to my 1080p Logitech camera that I was using. I threw that Logitech in the trash and replaced it with a much better camera. Except the Logitech isn't really in the trash. It's sitting right next to me. But I'm going to keep it as a backup. <laughs> I'm sorry, Logitech. I didn't mean to say that. You still have a lot of value. But I just wanted something like a lot higher quality. And... The reason this episode is using this face cam is because it's not being edited by me. In fact, I'm using it as a test to test out some future editing candidates for the future Zelda randomizer videos. And this is the test video that I gave them. I gave them some face cams so they could try to do some creative edits. And I told them to have fun with it and add stuff that like shows their personality as an editor. So I don't know really what they could do. Like they can make me like punch something funny. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. It can make me kiss somebody. It can make me kiss somebody. Then maybe put something in my hand. A hand. I'm trying to play a video game while interact with the camera at the same time. This is why I don't normally do face cam. I'm already bad at video games enough. I don't need this much. I don't need this many more distractions. Oh, let me land on him. That's what I was supposed to do. Catching a nice Uber ride. Another one bites the dust. Bing, bing, bing. Another one bites the dust. Okay, this part's kind of hard because we have all these dudes just like flying into our face, which we can hit them, fortunately. Oh my God, get in there. You have to fit in like a Tetris puzzle piece. Ooh, he's mad. He's growling. <laughs> That's the sound effect that it was making. All right, we got the earth element. Nice. It's made of three purple drops. Hello? 
It's made of three juicy drops of eggplant juice. So refreshing. If you haven't had your daily cup of eggplant juice, I don't know what to say. Your health is probably going down the drain. I'll pray for you. Well, we got five bombs instead of a heart piece. Pure disappointment. And then move onwards because we're bad bitches. All right, we're back to the top of this building. I'm gonna go back down these spiral stairs real quick and talk to the man that was sick. The one that we sucked the evil spirit off of. Ooh, look at him shine off his head. Nice, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. squeeze. Sir, your, your head is starting to smoke. Sir, sir, it's catching on fire. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Here, give me my gift real fast. He gave me bombs. Screw you. His head can never be too dry. In fact, he has the driest head on this side of the Mississippi. I probably shouldn't be talking about dry heads right now. Not on this Christian Minish Cap video. Oh no, where are we falling to? What? Damn, that was a far distance to drop. That was a real dream drop distance. Vale Springs. So I know in regular Minish Cap, the big Goron gives you a mirror shield. I don't know if he gives us anything in the randomizer. The tracker says otherwise. Yeah, I don't think he gives us anything. I don't know why, but it's unfortunate. All right, coming back down with lactose. Don't drop. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport out of here. There's nothing for us here. Let's yeet. And I need to check the map. Okay, so I think we have all four elements. We got the one from Palace of the Winds, the Temple of Droplets, the Deepwood Shrine, and the Cave of Flames. So I think we're officially in go mode, so I can mark that on the tracker. Wait, are we though? What all do we need to be in go mode? I know go mode means we're able to beat the game, but I, I don't know, do we need the Pegasus boots to beat the game? I don't know, I'm gonna take us out of go mode actually for a moment. I think we need the Pegasus boots. Let's keep on checking some of the checks, the checkity checks, and try to find the Pegasus boots. Cause those should definitely come in handy. There's some other caves that we have to dig through since we have the mole mitts, so let's just go ahead and start searching for those. As we're running around, I want to give some shout outs to a few more pieces of artwork that were sent in. I am still like astounded by how much artwork was sent in over the series. You guys did some awesome artwork and I am so thankful to have so many talented artists in this community. And I promise to do maybe some more art uh, things like this in the future and maybe even do some like contests and giveaways for cool artwork in the future. I'm really happy that we have the fast moments. I think we had them from the very beginning, but it's nice because we're able to dig and just get through all these caves way faster. Otherwise, it takes a lot more patience. Bam. Damn, there are so many bombs thrown around this game. Is there that many bomb refills in like the base game? Why am I finding so many? Oh yeah, sword beam. I need to start using more of my special moves. Forget I have my roll attack. Where does this ladder go to? One thing I want to do is I want to show you guys the backside of the graveyard and the royal and the royal ugh, the royal crypt. Royal's a hard word to say. Um, the royal crypt, but we need the Pegasus boots to get there. That's like one of the main areas locked by the Pegasus boots. Do you ever check out the watery spot? Was I right? It was weird, huh? I do not want to know what watery spot he is talking about. <laughs> you know, light blue tingle is kind of a vibe. All of his brothers look alike, but the one in white isn't really our brother. Whoa, plot twist. What? Who is he? What I can't figure out is why he tries to dress up like us. It's because you guys are cool, man. Tingle's cool. Everyone wants to be like Tingle, right? Let's work back to the swamp. The swamp. The swamp ass. Link has been moving around too much through this game. He's starting to get some swamp ass. It's really cool that you can use Rock's cape to get around this area though, instead of the Pegasus boots. Bleh, Pegasus boots. It allows there to be some variety to the gameplay. It's really good sequence breaking. Okay, so this dude should be able to teach us stuff now that we have seven scrolls. I haven't come back to talk to him yet. Just gonna spam through all this text because I'm impatient. 
What does he normally teach us? He's teaching us the switcheroo. Okay, well, I think I just decapitated lactose, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry for some beef anyways. Just eat the mascot at the end of the Let's Play. God, these bombs! I feel like I'm so trolled this episode. I mean, realistically, there's not very much for us to find. Gotta find the Pegasus boots. I think one more library book. But apart from that, we're pretty much there, guys. We're at the end. There's gonna be one more episode after this one, which will be the finale, where we will beat Dark Hyrule Castle and the end of the game. So I don't want to put all that into this episode. That'd make this episode very, very long. Um, and yeah, it's going to be good. We'll have another Zelda randomizer underneath our belt on this channel, which I'm excited for. I'm trying to find the clay cave portion. I always get lost in the swamp. Okay, was it down here? I think so, I think so. Yeah, here it is. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole, yeah. Diggy diggy hole. Ah! Get out of here! You scared me! You scared me! <laughs> ah! 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 Okay, editor, you didn't have to scare me like that. Sheesh! Okay, we got a heart piece. Nice. How many heart containers are left? And how many heart pieces are left? I have not been keeping track of the two separately. I think we would be able to save time if we teleported. It's a little bit of a trek to get to the Fortress of the Winds, so I'm just gonna fast forward us getting there because there's no chests or anything to get along the way. So, Godspeed! Do we have the compass? Oh, we don't have the compass, dude. Actually, this will be really easy. Last time we were here, we did not have the moments. But this time we have them, so we can go ahead and scratch some backs while we're in here. A big goopy. That's a giant goopy. It's nice to find a giant goopy every once in a while, if I do say so myself. Uh, I want to go all the way to the left-hand side first. And get the chest over here as well. There's also just like another room over here that we couldn't even get to in the first place. Oh, nice! Biggest wallet! I think we can hold 999 rupees now. Which is 2 rupees above 997 rupees. Which is just wonderful. That was the easiest fight ever. And we got a pretty good reward for it too. Do I get anything for lighting the... The torches come back to life. Wake me up. Wow, I, I bring you back to life and you shoot your fire at me. That is so rude, sir. I see how it is. I see how it is. You do a favor for somebody and they just shoot you with their fireballs in the face. Try to disfigure you. I'll get you, Batman. I'll get you someday. <laughs> one of the people who edited one of the Versus videos put like a swish sound effect every single time that I swished my hair and I thought it was so funny and I feel like if I have this haircut that should just be coming like a running gag <laughs> a running gag in the videos swish. ah no the suck you're stealing all the rupees that I just rightfully earned gee gee scoop these like like sure are mean they can eat more than I am. Zoinks. What does this do? Oh, nice little just hidden chest. Get out of here, you little spike ball. I don't want to hear it. Whoa. This game just gives us way too many rupees. It's pretty silly. Okay, I don't think there was anything back here, but I'm a double check just to be double checked. We're good, we're good. Okay, comic question of the day. I just said checked and I thought of like verification checks. You know, like when you're like verified on Instagram or Twitter, um, YouTube. What other what other websites can you be can you be verified on, like officially? 
I don't think we can do anything else in here. But yeah, comment question of the day. What website do you think it means the most to be verified on? Because, like, I don't think too much when I see a verified mark on Instagram, but if I see someone verified on YouTube, I think a lot more highly. Because I think it's a much better sign of character to be successful on YouTube than Instagram. But I don't know, let me, let me know what you think. Especially if there's other like websites that I can't even think of, honestly. Oh my god, I'm just really inspired by people who are verified on Pinterest. Wow, they're just such creative people. Damn, so many chests we couldn't get last time. Ow! Why'd you do that? Don't do that, sir. Oh. Uh, we've done this. Yeah, I think I can just jump down. We haven't done the right-hand side of the dungeon yet. You know, we're just coming and cleaning out, cleaning the temple out a little bit. We did most of the work the first time we were here. We'll be more heavily rewarded this time for sure, for sure. But how do I get over there in the first place? Ow, stop it. I think there's still like one main section. I didn't go through the middle door. That's what it is. Here we are. We never even got the red teleporter. That's where we went wrong. Okay, so... Yeah, I know what to do. We're good. These little jumpy skelly boys think they can get to us, but they can't. Go, 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 go. Get to the chopper. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Fast forward because... Because I can, honestly. Ow. Run for it, run for it, run for it, run for it. Yeehaw! Okay, there's a big chest over there. I feel like we're gonna find the Pegasus boots in this dungeon. I feel like it has to happen. If we don't, oh. That ledge is too small for my little my little body to climb up. You know, if Lactose was useful, he'd like pick us up in his mouth and set us on top. But he's not useful most of the time. He's just there to look pretty. No! No! I don't want to do all that again. Oh, I want to be tiny to go in this hole. That's right. Okay, well, let's do this side over here first. Zoink, zoink, zoink. No, 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 Not a second time. Okay, these guys... This part's pretty scary, not gonna lie. Get trapped in these little, like, clay... Clay cubes with these madmen. They're just smacking their faces into everything. It's disgusting. I've never seen such misbehaved creatures in my whole entire life. Truly despicable. That's why you guys haven't evolved. All right, piggy boots, piggy boots. I think they're on this side. Pick a hole, any hole, they're right here. Give me the piggy boots. No, compass. Okay, there's still a couple things left in here. All right. Dang, they're really having me pressed. Okay, sliding past these gigantic spiky dilds for the third time. Just so we can go in the mouse hole. It's better be worth my time. Peggy boots, baby. I just want myself some Peggy boots. Aw, oh, heart piece. No Peggy boots today. I feel like I've collected 50 heart pieces this episode, but still haven't gained one heart container. I'm mad, to say the least. Ouch. The Jabber Nut! Oh my god! The actual best item in the game. Of course, how, do I, how did I forget about that? It's sitting there on the tracker right next to the mushroom. Oh, look at them. They're best friends. Okay, I admit it. I admit it. I ship the mushroom and the jabber nut. You're just too cute. I can't resist. Okay, I think we're heading to the boss room. We've done it, children. Oh. Oh. I see, said the blind cow. Lactose is blind, if you guys didn't know that. Aren't you, like, so much more impressed by lactose now? The Peggy Boots! I knew it! I knew it! I called it! 
Hell yes! Oh yeah, I forgot that they're put on their own little, like, quick key as well, so we don't have to equip them. You can equip it as an item and go brr. You can just, like, pound stuff straight in the face. And we've already found the scroll that allows us to hold our sword in front of us as we run at 30 miles per hour. So yes, we pretty much are capable of going on a murderous rampage anywhere that we possibly want. Um, but I can also unequip it and still do it, baby! I'm pressing the L button! This is, this is freaking awesome. Um, it's the only item in the game that I think does that, but it's a wonderful addition. And if you find the Pegasus boots early on, then, you know, you have just like another button you can use for your whole entire randomizer that I didn't get to use during my randomizer because I found the Pegasus boots at the very end, but it's okay. I'm not mad. Okay, kind of am, but it's okay. Do I want to get anything in here? Some arrow refills. Yes. Is this the... What dungeon do you normally find the bow and arrow? I honestly can't remember. This dude looks awesome. He reminds me of a pair of 3D glasses. The old school ones. With the red and blue lenses. Okay, bro. Can't just start crushing me like that. I was trying to compliment you, but you wanted to start beef. You woke up and chose violence, so here I am. Okay, so this is like typical Nintendo boss fight fashion. Gotta take out the hand jobs, and then we take out the face job. Go to sleep. Okay. He's crashed. We're gonna turn into a tiny boy. And sneak inside his mouth. How do I taste? Lactose, take a big steamy shit inside of his mouth. Do it. That'd be hilarious. I would laugh so hard. Some good cow manure for breakfast. Lots of nutrients or something. I don't know. That's not true. I made that up. But if I told you that I read that on a statistic, that eating cow manure gave you really good nutrients, would you believe me? I'm not saying that you would try it, but would you believe me? How much of the things that I say do you guys take at face value, viewers? Like, if I say things, do you, like, automatically believe that it's true if I say it? Or you're like, uh, oh, Tyler said it. So there's probably a 30% chance it's true and factual. Because that's, that's really all we can, that's really all the trust we can truly give him. Oh, shoot. Lactose, how much cow manure did you leave in here? Jeez. Ew. I'm having to dig through this shit. Literally. Oh my god. Where is it? Can I find it? There it is. The literal last one that I found. For some reason, for some reason the inside of this boss fight reminds me of a Pokemon gym. I feel like some of you guys might resonate with that. Some of you might not. If you don't, leave an angry comment and give me some of that algorithm love. Leaving comments definitely helps the videos do better, I think. I can't statistically prove that either, unfortunately. I don't have the resources yet. The next thing I've got to get is a data analyst. That's the next person to hire. If there's any data analysts out there that need a job, hit me up. I might let you analyze my data. Mm. You like that data? What do you, what do you call, what does a micro trip call his dad? Data. <laughs> I want all of you guys to call me Data. I'm your computer daddy. That's what e-boys are. We're not daddy. We're Data. Good shit. We're about to take him out. Three strikes and you're out, buckaroo. Yeehaw! I swear to God, editors, if you put a cheesy cowboy hat on my head right there, I'll love you forever. Make sure it's a cheesy cowboy hat, though. Make sure it's a cowboy hat covered in cheese. We like a good dad joke out here. A good data joke. <laughs> we love it when jokes come full circle. Okay, we did it. We have 999 rupees. Satan is just chilling on the screen right now, but he's upside down, so it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, we found a gigantic stone tablet. Is this the, the Ten Commandments? 
Or are these the, the, are these commandments 11 through 20? I've been looking for these. <gasps> oh my god, he brought me a bloopy! Um, this is normally the ocarina. This is the point of the game where you uh, receive that. But of course, we got blooped. Bloop, there it is. Bloop, there it is. I said bloop, there it is. Bloop, bloop, bloop. My eyebrow itches. I think the next person I need to hire is someone to just itch my eyebrows and my nose as I'm recording. They just stand to the side and a random hand just like reaches into the side of the frame and itches my nose every once in a while. Cause it kind of gets itchy as I talk. The vibrations like make it vibrate a little bit when I talk too much, which is all the time when I'm recording. And that tech tide almost hit me out of my Twitter bird. I was gonna be mad. Let's go back home. Let's go say hi to dad. Speaking of data, we haven't even gone home to say hi to Pops yet. Maybe he has something nice for us. <laughs> we go home and visit him and the only thing he has for us is hard physical labor. Typical dad shit. Oh, you look like you've been just about everywhere in Hyrule, huh? But say, have you been to Vale Falls? I hear no one has ever found the source of water that feeds the falls. Oh. We found the source of the falls. Uh, you see, Dad, there's this Goron up there. And the Goron has a super wet, dripping... So if that's where you're going, promise me you'll be careful. I promise nothing. In the presence of wetness. Oh, that Octorok turned flat for a second. Wait, did they turn fat whenever you hit them in the face? Couldn't see their faces. They were too scared to look at me. Okay, I think there's something somewhere back here. Oh, we gotta go inside this little hole right here. Okay. This is finally possible. This is like one of the only things we couldn't do in the randomizer without the Pegasus boots. There's like three separate things, I think. Where am I going? I have to go all the way down here. There's like a random bridge. That leads to nowhere, except it does lead to somewhere, and that somewhere is over here. To a tree. That seems like it's nowhere, but if we have the Pegasus boots, which I don't need to equip because I can press the L button, we can smash into the tree and there's a hidden stump. Covered itself in leaves. It was a dead tree in the first place, but it was trying to disguise himself. But we saw through the disguise. We did not let it slide. Okay. Let's go ahead and blah 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 in this tub. More bombs! Oh my god, you shouldn't have randomizer. You're gonna make me blush. Okay, I think my next excellent plan is to go finally talk to Anju. Or should we save Anju? Mailman, mailman, come talk to me. What's the news? Hey, you heard about the good news? Y'all sleeping on me, huh? Had a good snooze? Wake up, Andrew, wake up! It's time to get the paper! Oh no! This is horrible! My cuckoos have gotten out! <sighs> Can you catch them for me? Yes, I will, you little slut. I'll catch your cuckoos. You cockmonger. Okay, so the reason I waited to do this for the Pegasus boots is because I need the actual speed. Because in Minish Cap, Oh no, I messed it up! I just drowned the chicken! Oh god. Okay, so what I was saying is there's a lot of versions of the uh, Cuckoo chasing minigame in Minish Cap. And the one that they have you do in the randomizer is the hardest one. And I've decided that it's easiest to do that. Wait, did she just end the time prematurely because I killed the Cuckoo? <laughs> Oops. But yeah, so this is the hardest version of it, so it's easiest if you have the, the Pegasus boots. The Peggy boots, if you will. I hope we're, I hope we're okay. I can swim. I don't need to use the... Okay, what am I doing? I keep on trying to murder the chickens. I... Oh! <laughs> I have apparently forgotten how to play Minish Cap all of a sudden. And you. Give me all of your cock. Put all of your cock in the bag right now. The one that lactose is holding. Do it! Do it! Ugh, I can't. I can't do it. I don't have the heart. 
I could never shoot you, Manju. I love you, my glorious ball sack. Oh my god, I'm gonna get attacked by chickens. I can't believe... I hit chickens a lot, but it was different chickens. If you hit the same chicken the same time, multiple times in this game, they will attack you like every other Zelda game. Minish Cap is not exempt from the cuckoo attacking you rule. Don't hit that chicken again. And don't shoot this one with a bow and arrow. <laughs> you freaking madman. Okay, so the white chickens, they're okay. No, oh, come back, come back. You're not supposed to keep running. You messed everything up, I'm drowning you. It's all your fault, you asked for this. Ma'am, get out of my way, these people. I am destined to never be able to complete this mini game. It is, it is fate. I've never had this much of a problem with this mini game before. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going for it. Let's see, let's see how well we can do, even though the chicken just evaded us for 10 seconds. There's three of them, that's the first one. Second one is up here. So the gold, the golden cuckoos are a bit different. You have to throw them incrementally or else they'll fly out of your hand and go in the opposite direction that you want them to. So you gotta be quick. Yep. It is not happening this round. I got close though. Well, maybe, maybe, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope, so close. 10 seconds to get this little stinker back. No, 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 don't be a stinker, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, you're not a stinker, you smell amazing. You smell glorious, way better than Anju. Okay, this better have been worth my while. Make it worth my while. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and 110 rupees, that's actually not too bad. Uh, what else can we do? I think there's actually one more skill to learn in this dojo over here. The mojo dojo, the mojo dojo. <laughs> yeah, because we have the Pegasus boots. Please train me, wise one. Blah, 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 they're just blabbering all about, bruh. Ouch. The whole house crumbles down, crushes us, we die. Funeral happens, very sad. We get rupees, yay! Damn, I mean, there's really not much for us to get at this point. How, how many of the library books have we found? So just two? We have the graveyard key. Okay, okay. Uh... There's one more chest in this fountain over here. Do I want to do that now? Here, no, let's come up into this. This hole up here in the moat. I have to be Minish, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna test the library real fast and see where we're at with this. Hello, librarian. Yes, I got your copy of the Hyrulean Bestiary. Legend of the Picori. Yes, I learned about everyone's micropenises. Yeah, I don't have the history of masks yet. What a shame. So the reason we have to find three library books is this bookshelf right here. You can see there's like a little tiny footprints leading up to it. I'll like show you what our goal is with that, which hopefully we complete it at some point. <laughs> We're pretty much at the end of the series. We're just like wrapping it up at this point. So if we come here, there is some books missing from the shelves and those books lead to ladders that take us to other sections. Um, so yeah, we can't progress until we find the last book. Oh my God, use the fast forward button. The climbing is Minish Link takes forever. <laughs> my God. Uh, but yeah, let's climb down here like the little cutie raisin we are. We're just a little orange raisin. I can't think of anything that's really small and orange. Like clementines, but those aren't that small. Like orange skittles, maybe? I'm a little orange skittle. Damn, okay, we finally got that next heart container. We're at 19. The progress has finally come underway. No, not the pinchy bugs. Not the pinchy bugs. Here, let's... Magical boomerang. The boomerang squad. Boomerang. 
You do always come back. Easy peasy, your mom is easy. I'm tired of the disappointment. I'm not sure how much more disappointment my heart can take, honestly. It's okay. Huh. Okay, so we can go to the top of the graveyard. Let's see, we have seven minutes left. We gotta use these seven minutes wisely. So where do we wanna go? I gotta turn into regular Link again. Unfortunately, you can't teleport when you're Minish. One of the downsides. <laughs> Here, let's teleport to... There's a few more caves we can go to if we go to the, the east side of the map. So I'm gonna teleport to Lake Hyrule. Lake Hyrule? Is that what I just called it, for real? Lake Hylia. I'm sorry, Great Lake Hylia. Please don't drown me. <laughs> okay. Is, can we do finally, we can finally do this, holy crap. There's also a hidden stump in this tree. The Pegasus Boots was hiding a few things, honestly. Some of these hidden stumps. There's one of those hidden stumps in Lake Hyrule as well. I called it that again! Wow. I'm getting drowned. I'm definitely getting drowned at this rate. <gasps> bottle! I totally forgot we were missing a bottle. Nice, I love how like you continuously find- Whoa, what is that? Is that an earthworm? I don't think I've seen that enemy. What? Come back. I'm... Have I seen these before? Earthworm with a mouth. I don't like it. Not one bit. Yeah, I'm glad we were finally able to do that. <laughs> na 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 Hamana Hamana makes the world go round. Bahama Mahamana. <gasps> Whoa! Ac okay. Now we're on go mode. We couldn't beat the randomizer until this moment. So yeah, I was wrong earlier. We had to find the uh, the fourth sword element, which allows us to turn into all four swords now. Uh, sick. So yeah, now we're officially on go mode. I can mark that in our tracker. Go mode means that we are set to beat the randomizer. I'm gonna get a few more things. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up the randomizer just to show you guys where all of the treasure chests are in this rando because I know a lot of you guys like to watch these for that informational purpose. And we will finish up the randomizer in the finale. Okay, let's see if we can get a couple more chests this episode. There's still a library book hidden. That's the last thing we gotta find. Let's see, what was this? More rupees. Go ahead and grab that. We pushed it off the shelf, I think, last episode. All right. Let's go ahead and strip this tree naked. Show your true colors. A little bitch. And there's another swordsman up here. I forgot what requirements we had to get in order to do this one. I think it was like 10 hearts, 10 heart containers. Something along those lines. Put it on the triple beam. I ain't from Canada, but I see a lot of teams. Dismantle her, I know how to handle her. Set the candle up, I don't want to bandle her. All right, alt right. Okay, now. This is just the bomb episode. This is a bomb episode, if I, if I say so myself. Okay, I just wanna to go to that one last cave. One last cave this episode, and then we're gonna end it. In the finale next episode, we're gonna be going to the graveyard, doing the mini dungeon that is there, and then going and finishing the last dungeon of the game, which is uh, the Dark Hyrule Castle. Which is a pretty fun dungeon, if I do say so myself. I like it. Blink, 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 blink. Can I talk to this guy now that I have the Jebernut? Nah, I thought he would give me something, maybe. Okay, back in the hazy woods. I think the entrance to the cave... Yeah, here we are. I think there was two chests in here that were super easy to collect. 
Oh, but there's some warriors trying to defend the warriors. Wait, what did I just say? That I think about it. Whoa, big bomb bag. Big bomb bag. Didn't realize we didn't even have that. And then some bombs to fill it up. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah, we filled up the whole entire tracker. The only thing we're missing is a library book at this point. Oh look, the Jabbernut is even up here in the top right-hand corner. I don't think it's normally listed up there, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, with that, I'm going to end the episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave in the comments some notes on how you think the editors did this episode. Um, give them some like praise on some cool edits and stuff they did. And yeah, you'll see one of them be working for me in the near future. So it's going to be pretty exciting. A lot more Zelda randomizer content coming to you guys soon. Anyways, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one. Ka-chow.